Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through something I felt is actually very important. And you can see as I was actually working on this particular project, I discovered there are some actually tools or some important shortcut or app which I actually used to actually make my work faster while designing this particular project. You can see like for example this particular work was this other one here was actually a power clip. I actually worked on power clip here. You can see inside the power clip I have some images and this I use is our background. I use this to actually differentiate to give it a little kind of shade to change the color on that particular space. So I'm going to be what I'm going to be heading to show you now is in most cases as I showed you now if I want to actually edit this particular work now I have to either right click on it come to edit content then now click on edit content to edit it or I come over here you can see either I right click or come to edit content to actually edit that particular side or I come to where we have this place and click on it to actually open up and for me to start editing or changing the color of all this place so I'm going to show you a faster way of how you are going to do change anything on inside or move any in the object anywhere without actually going to have to go into the power clip to actually work on it now let's say on this one now this is actually also a power clip you can see if I should edit content you can see that it's actually a power clip I actually worked on it from the inside this if book is inside the power clip why this is also inside the power clip so now I'm going to finish editing let's see now I'm going to show you the easiest way of doing this now before I move to that I also discovered there's another shortcut I'm going now if I want possibly I want to actually move this to a, a maybe a different side and i want to just do that without some in some cases what most people do they will actually select it now they would have selected it and maybe do ctrl c and ctrl v on the keyboard to actually copy it and paste on the same position and just drag it to wherever they want it to be or they do ctrl d on the keyboard to actually duplicate if i do ctrl d now you can see that it actually duplicated this particular image for me so ctrl d it duplicated it again and i have like two copies on this particular place because i did it twice so now that is the way most people do it so i'm going to be well first i would like to me what i normally use for my eyes i'll just once i if i want to actually duplicate all this to maybe move it to another place and i actually want it some most of the time i normally want it to be on a straight line to actually follow a great a better pattern so i'm going to what i'm actually want to do i'm used to do i just select it and click on it hold down my control key so you can see that i can move it to any way i want on a straight line when holding down my control key it tends to allow me to move it to anywhere i want to take it to but if i should release the control key i can also play along with it but this time around it's no longer on a straight line as to when i hold down control key you can see when after holding that control key this is how it goes on a straight line so now let me say i'm holding that control key i want to place it here now what I do before releasing my left click, I'm holding using left click to actually drag it to the position where I want it. But before releasing the left click, I quickly click on the right on the right click. You can see once you click on the right click, you, it actually it will show something like a plus button on your close to the tip of your mouse there. You can see it's actually showing something like a plus button. You can see from yeah where you have you see something like a plus button there so once you see some, the that icon when you right click you see, that means it's actually pasting it will actually paste that particular object in that location where you want it to be 
so if I should click right click now and release you can see it actually pasted the object in so now when I have to so that is just simply let me say I want to do this once I do that I'm good to go that actually makes my work a bit faster for me now the, back to where the key thing I wanted showing you here now let me say on this particular one now I want to edit probably what we have in this particular site I want to change let me zoom this so that you see let me say for example I want to actually work on this and I need this to change the make probably the color of this particular shape now let's see something I'm going to what I'm going to do on my keyboard I'm going to hold down alternate key I will hold down alternate key and click on the shape I want to edit what it does is select that particular shape inside the power clip so now you can see it actually selected this shape out for me so now I can now click on this or just select any color so now this was actually a gradient I use here so I can click on this and change it to any color I want let me say I'm clicking here and let me say I want to use this then on this side let me say I want to use this or oh, let me use this then now let me say I'm done with this now now let me say I want to shift this book now this book remember is also inside the power clip you can see I can select it like this it's actually together inside the power clip let me see now I want to select the book now what I will also still do is to hold on the control key hold on I mean alternate key then click on the book it's going to select the book now I can now shift the book to any position I want to shift it to so that is just how to do that same thing I will going to apply to this particular one let me say I want to change remember I had I added something like a, a shape where I used to give it a color so as to change this particular the color field of this one so let me I'll hold down control key I mean alternate key again and click here once I click on it I'm going to now apply the color I want to apply on it you can see it picks that particular color and let me say on the, also on the background this particular background here I actually have maybe I wanted to give in something very light so in some cases you tend to click on it hold and maybe select the particular color you want but let me say I actually don't want to give it I want to use something very very light on this particular place let me say this the next what I'm going to do since I want to get a different shade a very light shade I'm going to use hold down control key and maybe come to white I'll just continue clicking on white what it does is actually going to give it a different color to so start mixing adding white to what we have the original color we have there so you continue adding the white once you do that so you can continue doing that until when you get the perfect shade you want you can actually add any color like now I can add this if we actually keep on adding this particular color mixing it with what we have here so that is just how you actually work on you can use the same trick on anything you want to do let me say for example let me show you something now if I have this let me say I have these two colors here let me say I'm having here has green and maybe it yeah, has let me say blue so now if I should add yellow to this if I let me say on this I hold down control key and add yellow you can see it actually makes it give it a different shade of changes the color what it does it makes yellow to what the current color we are actually having here so now let me say this I'm actually going to miss something like red on it so you can see it's actually changing that is actually how to do some kind of mixture with your colors the same approach I applied here if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos so I believe you must actually learn with this now what I've showed you here you can actually see that it makes your work even more like two times faster when you are when you tend to know all these shortcuts and tools shorter approach to achieving your work you can see it's going to make your work very very easy and faster for you so 
I believe might have learned from this particular tutorial. If you have any question, you can actually drop in the comment box below. I will see my how to answer. I will give you an answer to whatever question you want to ask. Now, another thing, in case for those of you that actually want, in case you want to actually know how I came up with this particular design, I'm actually going to be working on this design and a tutorial on this particular design how i came up with this particular design how i tend to make the text the image inside and also add be able to be able to add other colors to change the color gradient of this particular color and this particular image i'm going to be showing you how i did that in this in the in the next video so ensure you stick around and come back to watch until next time bye for now